Don't speak on this video. <laughs> Only I can speak, Noah. Yeah. You're racist. house right now we at the crib right now taking it back to the roots we're tackling the most important question of all are you racist i've never seen this video i saw how four million views i wanted to click on it am i racist <laughs> the bottom line is no good um, <laughs> he's like i'm like mildly racist i don't think i'm superior inferior to anybody there you go i don't think anybody should be treated differently in fact i love people who are different than me yeah absolutely i actually don't like light skins that much <laughs> Wait, is that racist? Now wait a minute. <laughs> now I ain't saying like they're below me, because that is me. In middle school, there's a kid named Dominic. He was the only other mixed boy, and I ain't like that. <laughs> and he played soccer too. I was like, nigga, you're not even good. Dominic, I'm watch this. Uh, I think uh, different. We ended up being best friends. Oh, okay, okay. Um, he's, he's still one of my like great friends. I literally love seeing people from different cultures. Like I saw a beautiful Indian woman the other day. I was like, dang, wow, I want to go to India. I don't know. <laughs> the different makes things cooler. Mm, no, mm -mm. no, definitely. Well, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I think for it will pop up the definition of racism here. Off the top of my dome, prejudice and discrimination towards other ethnicities, towards like another whatever race, race. or believing that a race is superior or there is inferior. I wholeheartedly don't believe. That. I don't agree in that. So. Whoa. <gasps> oh. Am I what? A racist? Am I racist? Yeah. I should hope not. I've seen a black man like walking towards me and I cross the street, but I'm always in my head like, please know that this is because you're a man, not because you're black. <laughs> she saved herself on that one. I appreciate her honesty. Yeah, now, was it really just because it was a man? She's a small woman, and if there's a big man coming at you, walking at night, I don't trust people. I don't trust the yeah. general public to do the right thing. People rob people every day in LA. And Bro, shit. LA's getting bad right now, too. I'm gonna let that slide. I think that's fair. The guy happened to be black. <laughs> <laughs> now, if it was a big Asian guy, do you think? I don't know. I ain't that, I'm not racist, but I, I'm a server, so you know, like, I know races. Like, <laughs> how do I word it without sounding racist? Stereotypes. Like what? <laughs> white people smell. They can't cook. They can't <laughs> dance. I didn't know white people smelled. Is that a thing? Don't we all smell? We all have a certain smell to us. Oh, that guy. He smells like a white guy. <laughs> Is stereotyping racist? I could say most black people have rhythm. I guess that's a stereotype, right? White people don't have rhythm when yeah, it comes white to people dancing. can't dance. Is that a racist statement? Does that mean that I believe that they're inferior? Mm. Like if you were to say black people are better at white people than basketball, based off the stats of more black people play, is that a bad thing to say? It's facts. It don't mean I don't like white people or like white people are bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is some of the nuances to what that, uh, and it's like you gotta tiptoe on everything. Wouldn't everybody be lying right now? Like, there's a camera and three lights yeah. in your face. Are you racist? No, I don't. Well, I'm a server. <laughs> what does that mean? I would have stopped there. I was just talking about with my friend, setting her up with my other friend, and I'm like, but you know, he's Asian, so he probably has a small penis. And I was like, fuck, why did I say that? Why did I think that? But does that make her a racist? A person who is racist, someone who holds the belief that race is a fundamental determinant of human traits. Okay, so the concept of, oh, well, black people are good at dancing and white people aren't. Well, I guess by that definition. Because well, what's the difference between racism, stereotypes, and discrimination? Now? Is that all the same group? Holy shit. I think it's safe to say that there are a lot of people who aren't racist, who don't hate. That's how I view it more, like if I hate right. another race. Yeah, yeah exactly. literally. That's racist. If I'm at a pickup basketball game and it's some tall black dudes, yeah. I want them on my team because I'm like, oh, he might be good. Was it a good racist? <laughs> Most people, or I think a lot of people aren't, but then you get into a little, you can't do this and you can't say this and you mm -hmm. can't do this. And blah, blah, blah. Everyone just shut the hell up and just got along with their day. Stereotypes can be funny. They can be fun. Like, chill. Yeah, like, as long as you're not taking it to the extent of, like, hateful. I tell racist jokes. I like to make a lot of jokes. Sometimes they're race jokes. I do make a lot of racist jokes. This has me thinking. That's Jokes 
racist. Who's the police on who's allowed to make what joke? Only mixed people can make jokes about mixed people. You're white, you can't make a joke about black people. Who's the police? Yeah, who's supposed to let you know that's too far? But that joke's okay. You're allowed to do that. Oh, you can't do that. But that one, no. I think you can't say that. Anybody can not like a joke and say you can't say it. And now jokes are subjective. So to somebody that thinks really funny, that's actually racist. You can't joke about that. You can't joke about that. But we've been to comedy shows. They still make race jokes. Mm -hmm. I've seen white comedians make jokes about black people and it's hilarious. If someone says something that you don't like, it's okay. There's always going to be someone who disagrees with something that you say. Didn't like that. Can't say that. Not funny. Racist. There is no joke police. You can still joke, but keeping in mind the climate and it's 2022. And not actively trying to offend somebody. And even if you don't, you still offend someone. I can try not to offend somebody with a joke and still offend somebody. Correct. However, trying to make everyone happy is impossible. It's a pointless task. You might as well just make sure that the people you offend isn't 90% of people. Facts. Yeah. I wouldn't say that I'm racist nor I'm capable of it. Didn't anyone tell you black people cannot be racist? Black people can't be racist? And why is that? I have heard that. Nah, that's not right. You could be a black person and say, I hate a certain race. That's right. That would be racist. Mm. I think that's a bad take. I think anybody's capable of being or saying racist things can't be. You can be anything else. Racism is an institutionalized thing. I don't think black people have set up institutions powerful enough to like oppress other people. I think I can be prejudiced. I feel like I'm biased when it comes to white people, honestly, because I don't tend to give them the benefit of the doubt because they come into this world with so much privilege. Being a light-skinned person growing up in Kenya, there's definitely a colorism issue going on where darker-skinned people are usually looked at differently. No. How do you know? Just know that you don't hate people. I feel like you know, right? Like, if you have to tell people that you're not racist, that to me is a great sign that you're racist. I've been told I am. I was, like, kind of getting upset because I was tired of hearing about if you're white and Christian, you're racist and you get away with everything. I was like, how can you say that? Yeah, I'm racist because I'm a white person. I think all white people are racist. Yeah, I'm racist because I'm white. <laughs> Ma'am, what? Did you believe director? What did you just... <laughs> yeah, keep that one. Keep putting that in the montage. We have just been put into this system designed to empower our white privilege. As a white person, I am super racist. I know a lot of people like to say, yes, I'm a racist, because that makes them feel like people know that I'm admitting my faults, but like, I think that's a weird, like, cop-out. Have you experienced racism? Oh, heck yeah. I grew up in the South. I've been slammed on cop cars. I've had you know, guns pulled out on me from police officers. I'm followed through a grocery store. Got made fun of a lot. Ching chong, ling long, all this and that. Did you like jump the border? Can you speak English? Hey, speak English. Konnichiwa. That actually tosses a whole nother thing into it that I didn't think about. We could agree that, oh, if you hate somebody, if you hate a race, oh, you're blatantly racist. Mm -hmm. But if you're saying some little stabs like that. That's pretty racist. That is pretty racist. I had more experience than my coworker and that person was getting paid more than I did. I think everyone's racist. I think everyone. Everybody? Everybody is racist. Cut got the whole mixed bag, everyone on here. What do you do to actively change it? Just gauge in each and every scenario that you go through. I was brought up racist. I grew up in a phobic culture. There was a period of time where I was like against interracial dating. I remember being very young, having like negative perceptions of African American people. Oh, that clip cracks me up. People be so scared to say the word black. I don't know what it is. Um, I've had some experiences with um, the uh, bl um, African American community. You can say black. It's okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. They be trying so hard not to be offensive, so they say African American when it's like. Why are you dodging the word black? I don't know, it's funny, it's funny, that cracks me up. But I've met better people and opened myself up and I've healed. Are you racist? To everybody. Everybody can get it. I don't like nobody. So I just discriminate equally. <laughs> Okay. It's a heavy question. Yeah. It's a deep question. You cannot do this. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You can't say this, but I can say this, but you can't say this. Then you got everybody going against each other at that point. Love how the woman at the end said, I don't like anyone. And our teacher says, always love. White people can't cook. Gordon Ramsay, hold my frying pan. Yes, I'm racist. I'm a white person. This is actually alarming that people actually think they're racist just because of the skin color they're born in. I saw Morgan Freeman. He had an interview. He's like, Morgan Freeman solves racism. I said, well, let me click on this. 
funny shit. shit. He said, just stop talking about race. He didn't like Black History Month. He's like, Black History is American history. If we all just stop talking about race, uh, solve it. And I was like, oh, gosh, that sounds nice. But then something about the differences in race, I find cool. So I do like speaking about it. Oh, you're from so-and-so. You're Korean. Oh, what are the, what's the Korean culture like? You're half white. white yep. People look at you as white passing. Yep, facts. So, fucking Noah, white, you wouldn't understand. <laughs> and he's sitting there like, well, I mean, and my then, dad had a whole bunch of slurs to him growing up, like off the bus all the time, you tell me. And imagine if a bunch of people constantly came to you, well, no, you look white, so don't say anything. Yeah, facts. You can't say nothing about this video. Don't speak on this video. <laughs> Only I can speak, Noah. <laughs> Yeah. You're racist. If enough people start saying that shit to you, then I'm like, you might start resenting. I'm like, you know, I don't like all those people that said that to me. And then you start to further imagine you wake up tomorrow and racism doesn't exist. You know how many other issues there are going to be? It'd be a great thing to solve, though. It would be great. It would be great. But yeah. then it's there'd the, be a new problem that would take next over. Next thing, next thing. Even in like, we were talking about African countries, like everyone's black, but then there's different shades of black. Just, just be a nice person. I think it's because all the damage that has been done between the races mm -hmm. throughout centuries, it's a little tangled up right there. There's no such thing. Thing is this like utopian perfect world yeah, yeah, where yeah, facts. nobody's feelings get hurt. Everyone's trying to strive for this utopia. No racism, no sadness. There are some people that will be racist forever. Yes. No matter what. <laughs> right. And they might have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people that back up that yeah. their reasoning too. So it's like, that's not going anywhere. Trying to get every person on the planet on the same thing well, ain't same, gonna happen. Same way you could say green apples are the best. There's gonna be always the one person that doesn't like green apples. Mm -hmm. There's always a 20%, I think it's like a 20% rule that never agrees on one thing. So you might as well just focus on your own life. There's always gonna be evil in the world. Yep. It's nice to eradicate it where you can, but it's a hard mission. Just focus on your own life and try to better your own life because the rest of the world is on some BS all the time. Yeah, we're only here for a short little blip of time. Long story short, run up your own bag. Get a bag. That's the solution to everything. Secure the bag. Secure the Period. We solved the racism. We did it. We solved everything. So we should go celebrate. So we will celebrate at a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> so this video was actually supposed to be quite a bit longer. We cut out a lot of things we said. Not that they were bad things. Mm -mm. Rather, I think if you give people people enough stuff to chew on. They have more to attack you on. I think our message has always been just positivity. We just out here trying to be nice to everybody. To non-racists. Obviously. Spread love unless we're roasting somebody. Well, that's different because if you deserve to be roasted. And that's non-racial. Not at all. It's because it's something <laughs> stupid you do. But it's 2021. You talk about positivity a lot, Noah, but you roast people. You're a hypocrite. Hmm. You're a hypocrite and a bootlicker. <laughs> Oh, not a bootlicker. So then I can't say anything. No, can't say nothing. And you can't even say everyone be nice to each other because you know there's institutions that need to be fixed and you're not helping that. Shut up. So I'm probably better off saying nothing. Correct. I think we have really good intentions. We both hate racism. I'm not a fan. Definitely stand for All quality, acceptance. I didn't really encounter racism like that That's recently. It. It's like went away. <laughs> Imagine that. I have experienced it before, but yeah. when I do encounter racist people, I'm like, bro, what? How are you still racist? It's 2022. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I had an incident where I was in college and I was hanging out with these girls, whatever, story of my life. Two white guys came in and I was like, oh, I'm leaving. Even, like I had to go do something. Mm -hmm. And then later on, one of the girls said, yeah, one of those white guys said, when you left, is that your friend? And the girl said, yeah, that's my friend. And the guy said, his kind isn't welcome here. Yo. I was like, y yo, what? Cause I never really experienced true racism right. until I went into college. How are you 18 years old? All that hatred I was like, though. my kind? What do you mean by that? Handsome. Lit. Lit, handsome. I can't come here? There's a tricky line between, let's all try to be nice to each other. Let's solve problems this way. You can't do that like that. People mm -hmm. will Vilify you the more you say, the more you give them, the more they have to like attack you on. Attack you. I think we'll end this video with just being silent and smiling and smiling and seeing if that fixes things. I haven't tried it yet. Uh huh. Maybe that'll solve racism. There could be some people in the comments racism, institutionalized, blah blah blah. Yeah, we know it's bad. I would like to stop it. How long should we do it for? <sighs> Shit. To solve everything? To solve racism. Probably like a good two minutes. Okay. All right. I can set the timer. Yeah, let's do the timer. Because if we talk for two more minutes, then we'll get canceled. You know, I used to like you guys, but the way that you view this thing. You know what? I'll just shut up. I'm done talking. You win. Y'all win.
minutes. Wow. I think we saw racism. It took us to do it. It took us no, here. I'm glad it was us though. Uh, I'm happy that I was the one to do it. I didn't think that was going to be the way to do it. Yeah, if you shut out all dialogue, it actually solves racism completely. Mm. I think we should all, everyone. Racist. I think if everybody, law enforcement. <laughs> I mean, we like to talk about controversial stuff here and there, but I don't think you can anymore. You can't. You can't make light of something like this. Well, trying to help one person out there. Can't, can't even sign up for positivity. Happy New Year. Before you know it, it's gonna be summertime. You're gonna be like, where did the year go? Fuck. You're gonna see the tweets. It's summer already. What the fuck? I haven't even accomplished anything. Don't be one of those people. Get started right now. Imagine where you could be in six months if you start right now. Time's gonna go by regardless. June, July gonna come around inevitably. Are you still gonna be out of shape? Doing the same thing you're doing every day that you're doing right now watching this video? Hope not. I believe in you. I think you can do it. I'm gonna do it with you. Stop racism. Say no to racism.